Hey everybody, Stephen Bogren here, and today I'm talking about how to lose that stubborn body fat. So hey everybody, I hope you're all having a wonderful day so far. Man, what a crazy year it's been. <clears throat> Things are back in full swing, shows are happening, life is in bloom. Wow, um, we back at it, we ran right back to it. So it's been a phenomenal year thus far. We've had our own transformation challenge going on. Uh, you know, we have so much more in the works to hopefully make it so much better for all of you out there here at Pro Physique. So it's just been, it's been wild. But at the heart of it all lies why you guys follow us here at Pro Physique. Why do you follow me? Well, for a lot of people, it's how do we lose that stubborn body fat? How do we get leaner? How do we continue making progress over time towards our health, our physique, our fitness goals, whatever they might be? Um, and so one of the things I really like to talk about is just something that is simple and one of the most overlooked things for a lot of people, and it's simple movement, getting calories burned. So if we're looking at how do we make things happen in terms of losing body fat, we have the two aspects uh, that we really control of a deficit, which is our calorie intake and our calorie expenditure. And so we talk a lot about calorie intake, how do we manage that, how do we deal with that? Awesome. <laughs> That's not today. Today, I want to talk about the calorie expenditure side of the coin. Generally speaking, when we're talking about stubborn body fat, it's the stuff that's the last to go. <clears throat> and what that means is we just have to continue losing body fat. For a lot of us, it's that low back part. Maybe it's that part right under the glutes, the little pooch on the belly, those kind of things. And for most of us, that's exactly where our attention is drawn to. That's what we see because it's the thing that bothers us most because it's, generally speaking, it's the thing we've had the most trouble with. It's the thing that we've been battling forever. Like, man, there's just this part and I hate it and I can't seem to get rid of it no matter how much I do. Fuck! Right? And so what that entails is just getting leaner. So there are a couple of ways that we can deal with that, that we can help to manage it. But I think the biggest one is, is quite often times when we are dieting, we do a good job with the gym, we maybe even do a good job with the structured cardio stuff. But at a certain point when the diet gets low and those things are staying stable, it gets hard. Energy levels are low, we're tired, we're sleepy. Uh, we just don't have the same zest and zeal for life in general right and what normally can get hit are things like our non-exercise activity so we can absolutely see a hit in terms of calorie expenditure through our exercise activity we lose strength our performance isn't as good uh, we're going slower or we just don't have the same intensity on the cardiovascular activity that we were maybe using before um, but we can also see things like step count really drop down right if we're dieting really hard shoot we might not take the dogs out for walks as much we might not get the same kind of general activity. We might not get up to change the TV channel on the, um, the same if the remote's across the room. We start really just doing less. And so one of the easiest ways to be aware of that is just paying attention to our normal daily movement. Something like a step tracker or a step count is a really easy way to do that. Now, we could even use step count to facilitate fat loss if we're using that to increase it over time. So maybe instead of saying, hey, I'm gonna do specific cardiovascular activity and work, I'm just gonna take the dogs out for more walks. I'm going to go for more walks. I'm gonna get outside, I'm gonna get a little bit more sunlight. Those kind of things. And that can still increase calorie expenditure. We can see fat loss through those measures. The really nice part about utilizing lower intensity measures of cardiovascular activity or just lower, acti lower intensity activity, it doesn't take a lot of recovery. And so there's always going to be a threshold where we push past and now it's too much, right? There's always, how many hours do we have in the day? What do we recover well from? Are we stressing our body out so much that we cannot recover and get better? All those kind of things. So those should absolutely be considerations, 100% for sure, but I can guarantee you, you can do a lot more walking on a treadmill than we're gonna be able to do on the stairs because the stairs are gonna be very, very hard on recovery. It's a lot of work for these little leggies to do. Uh, <laughs> and so that's one of the reasons why I'm very 
aware of what kind of cardio are we doing. I want to be very intentional about what we're doing. And so for me, cardiovascular activity, helping to get rid of that stubborn body fat is most often about being intentional. Therefore, if my goal is to keep all the muscle that we can and try and get rid of just body fat and do so in a manner that's gonna be manageable over time, that means utilizing more lower to moderate intensity steady state cardio. Something that we can recover from that's not going to leave us really, really sore. It's not gonna leave us in a bad place. It's not gonna put us to a spot where now cortisol levels are high, fatigue levels are super high, right? Now we might get there anyways, just based on how hard you have to diet as an individual. Your genetics, your diet history, all those things will come into play here. But it damn sure helps us to manage it as best as possible. And those are things we wanna look out for. It might be that we need to utilize something like a diet break or some other kind of method of managing your stress response, whether that's your cortisol, whether that's your sleep, whether that's personal relationships, because remember, psychological stress manifests physiologically. And we can like drop that down for a week, maybe we cut it in half, maybe we get back to it. There's a lot of different ways that we can keep that body fat loss going over time. What I've found, and I can tell you countless amounts of times where a client has come to me and they've been doing an hour plus on the stairs a day. Like, coach, you know, I don't know what's going on. I, I don't understand, like I'm doing all this work. I'm pushing, I'm busting my ass, I'm consistently sore, um, and I'm not losing weight. I said, all right, well let's stop thinking about just doing more and think about doing stuff smart. And so we take them off the stairs. And so maybe we drop their cardio just in general. Maybe we just take them off the stairs and we put them on something like an incline treadmill or walking. That's much easier to recover from. And quite often what we're gonna see is an initial drop just from a drop in inflammation alone, which can oftentimes mean a tighter appearance, a better look, definitely feeling better, recovering better, um, and just having a better mood state in general. So remember, it's not necessarily always about working harder. We wanna work smart as well. And for a lot of us, there are smarter ways that we can get calorie expenditure throughout our day without breaking the bank in terms of our energy and our recovery. And that's what I really want you to think about today, is how can we get simple things? Maybe we take the pups for an extra walk during the day. Maybe we take an extra 15 minute walk during our lunch break. Easy ways to increase our calorie expenditure without necessarily setting ourselves up for binges because we're decreasing calorie intake so much more. You know, we're not creating that overeating opportunity with stress and hunger hormones, but we're still increasing our calorie deficit to see progress still going to help really get that extra last little bit in those stubborn pieces of belly fat, the stubborn pieces of body fat off of us. So that's all I got today. I hope everybody enjoyed it and I will talk to you soon.